We all know that Donald Trump is a genesis of what's occurring in the Congress right now. The attempt to get rid of of the speaker, etc. He's orchestrating all of that. In fact, Matt Gates said as much. He was in conversations with the former thug in chief Trump yesterday. And when you want to see what happens when all of these guys start to walk, what do they say, lock and step? I want you to see a, a false equivalency that I had to do a double take on. Because after Ken Buck said this, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Listen, as you know, Donald Trump did a whole lot of things and Ken Buck called him out for it. He said, I would do things differently. He was kind of childish in doing that. So uh, just like I would want to vote for Donald Trump for doing things like that, I think we should also judge Biden by Hunter Biden. I mean, you got to hear this to really see if you can make some sense out of it. But I I mean, when a, when a, a supposedly former DA, I think he was a district attorney or something like that, or prosecutor, and a current representative in government says something like that, you have to scratch your head. Check it out, and we'll take it on the other side. The judge in this case has already found that he committed fraud. Um, it's just a matter of how much he's going to pay. Should that disqualify him from serving as president? I, I don't know that a fraud case, a, a civil fraud case by itself does. I, I was talking about a criminal case. Um, I do think that, that people need to look at the behavior of, of Donald Trump in determining whether he is the best candidate for president. I also think they need to look at the behavior of Hunter Biden to determine whether Joe Biden is the best candidate for president. But I think that overall, uh, the criminal trials are going to be much more significant in people's minds uh, than the civil fraud trial. Well, there are significant differences between the two. But I do want to ask you before I let you go just about the threats that we've heard from Donald Trump, because the rhetoric and the language we've heard in the courtroom today, but also we've heard from him out on the campaign trail, we know that it's dangerous. The threats are increasing. Your colleague, Dan Goldman, said that he wished more people would be more outspoken about that. What do you say to that? I was a prosecutor for 25 years, Jen. I take the threats very seriously. And, and I'm, I, I, I think that if you're innocent, you act like you're innocent. And if you want to um, be president of the United States again, you respect the rule of law, you respect the process, and you show people that we have a criminal justice system that is fair in this country. Are you concerned about the rhetoric you're hearing from him outside of the trial, but the rhetoric you're hearing from him threatening not just judges, but elected officials, um, others? around the country. Yeah, I think it's immature. I think the president needs to do better when he is frustrated. Um, do what a lot of us do. Go into a room by yourself, yell for a little bit, and then come out and, and be the, the person the, that really personifies uh, what we want in a leader in this country. I wish more would speak out. We exactly. So in other words, Hunter Biden, what does Hunter Biden have to do with the president? You know, I mean, we have Trump folks that have done a whole lot of things. What does he have to do with the president again? We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.